Good Friday morning, everybody. Um, we're going to work with this one called Scape. Uh, first thing we're going to do is make a diagonal, and then we're going to uh, echo that across. Then in this corner, we're going to make a spiral that goes all the way into the corners, right? Get it closer here to you. Spiral. And then here, we're going to do three circles. Uh, and then if you do them and you turn each one, like this one is this way, right? And then you turn it, and then you turn it again, and you turn it again, you get this, which is what I'm going to do. There it is here, where they've only turned it twice it's in a ribbon. So they've done one going the way that the pattern is drawn and one going the other way and then one upside down one over here in a zigzag which is cool too but I think I'm going to do this and see what happens turn on our light so we can see and decide um, where's my straight edge how big is this paper this paper is a five and a half. So if I do a quarter inch border, I should end up with a five inch square. Correct? I should. Is it the same on both sides? Yes. Okay, so let's do a quarter inch border. Let's do that. Could I go all the way up to the edge? I guess I could, but I don't like that. Do I always measure? No, no I don't. All right, so let's do half inch, half inch squares, one inch squares. Let's do one inch squares. So that should give me five Crossed, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, it does. Look at there. Something like that. Then that should work. Because then it should give me a nice diagonal. Yeah, okay. That should work. Now, let's do, I feel like doing. I might not draw those squares in pen. Let's do... I'm going to draw my diagonal. Like that, right? And then... This way. And then it should go this way. Getting a little wide. But 
that's all right whatever and then it should go this way darn it that got a little away from me but that's okay she'll live she will live So how are you guys today? Shall I find something to talk about? Probably I should. Am I not talking? I don't know, because I'm thinking. I'm thinking very hard. What kind of holidays are coming up? Today is the 19th of uh, May and the end of the month Memorial Day will be here which I didn't highlight for some reason <coughs> Memorial Day weekend is like the unofficial Summer is here. And that will mean that it would be almost time for my next cruise. Love cruising. You guys know that. I love cruising. Okay, so I'm going to change from, that was a, a five size nib. Now I'm going to go back to my number two size nib. <coughs> And I want to turn on my phone. I want to, I'm going to mark with my, where did my pencil go? Mark with my pencil. That's where I want. That, so that'll be O's. These will be X's. Those will be O's. This one will be X's. X's. These will be O's. This one will be X's. Just marking. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. I don't want to lose uh, my thought process here. <clears throat> so in here, I want my 
spiral. I'm going to start here. like that. Now we're going to do it here. They might not be exact. Go up into the triangle like that. And then where I put the X's is where I'm going to put the circular blobs. Just like that, that one. And then we're going to do that here. And we're going to take a card here. I have something to talk about. OK, let's talk about something. If you could adopt a trait from another person at this table, what would it be? Well, since I'm not sitting here with anybody, let's pretend I'm playing this game with who? Who am I going to pretend I'm playing this game with? pretend I'm playing this game with you guys, but I don't know you guys well enough to know what trait I would want. Let's say I'm playing this card game with the people that I'm going to be on my next vacation with. Then I would say I would want the the get up and go the the energy level of one of my nieces. Because I will be with them on our next vacation. That's what I would want. I want to have their get up and go. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. This is going to take me longer than I thought it would. I thought this would be a fairly simple pattern, but all of this spiral work is going to take me a minute. If you want to fast forward, feel free. 
you'll never offend me if you fast forward or if you uh, want to put the video on uh, you know 1.25 did you know you could do that if you go into the settings the little gear on YouTube uh, you can change how fast you watch a video you can slow it down if you need to or you can speed it up feel free to do either of those things um, I quite often will speed up of course, when you speed up, we all sound like chipmunks, so there's that. But I don't like, I don't like making my videos in fast forward. I know some creators do that; they'll fast forward bits and pieces. But I want you to be able to see in real time how long something takes to do. So I don't do that. But if you want to do that on your own, feel free to do that. You won't won't hurt my feelings. Let's get another question. What has been your life philosophy? Well, can you guys guess? Can you guys guess that answer? I bet you you could. I bet you can. Do something nice for someone. Make the world a better place, one person at a time. Life philosophy. Has it always been that? No. No, it has not. I've not always been other-centered. That's come with time and with age and wisdom. Am I super wise? I don't know. Have I been around long enough to <coughs> have learned some stuff over the years? Yep. And one of the big things is... You know, just be nice to other people. Don't be a jerk. Good life philosophy. Just don't be a jerk. You know? That makes life just go so much easier for everyone. Just don't be a jerk. Is it easy to be a jerk? Yes. It is really easy to be a jerk. And I... You know, that's part of the human condition that is, is tough to, to swallow, I think, is that it is easy to be a jerk. It is easy to do things wrong. And that's just something we have to f struggle and fight with every day, is to do the right thing instead of the wrong thing. And depending on your belief and system and so forth, uh, you know, I personally believe that we were all born into a world full of of sin, and that word sometimes really bugs people. All it means is that that we are born into a world where we are separated from 
from God and until we are reunited with him in heaven um, we will always be somewhat separate even if you believe with as strong a faith as you have you know, Mother Teresa was still you know the Pope everybody who has a strong faith in God is also uh, subject to this issue that we have that we can be real jerks because we are separated from God and some of us can try to be closer we can think about God more frequently but at the end of the day we are not with God we are here on earth in this temporal plane that we have for however long we have to be here and that separation causes us to do things just aren't right you know and some people are more separate than others by choice maybe by circumstance I don't know but my belief is that no matter how hard I try I cannot be that perfect person until that day where I am reunited with God after my life here is over and that's kind of a weird scary thing to think about but I think we're all that's 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 where we're at in life you know Now we're supposed to put three dots in here. I've forgotten what I was talking about. You know, sometimes my brain, it wanders off without me. I have thoughts that are going through my head that have nothing to do with what we were talking about. And then I just get lost in that thought. And the next thing you know, I am somewhere else and I think all of us have a little bit of that in us uh, ADD ADHD uh, it's not that uncommon I'm watching more and more YouTube uh, from people who have a neuro spicy brain that's what they call it I like that description. And I didn't think that I had that issue until I start listening to their experiences and I think, you know, maybe I am a little neurospicy. Then again, 
Maybe we all are a little neurospicy. And we all just have different levels of it. I know my kiddo and my husband are neurospicy. My kiddo has it the, the worst. But I'm beginning to think I've got it as well. Just in a more mild form. And this is one of the reasons why drawing really helps me. Because I can be concentrated on something while I let my brain do what my brain does. Otherwise, I can get really distracted. You know that whole... Um, I'm going to go do the dishes, and on the way to doing the dishes, I see that trash needs to be taken out, and once I'm out side where the trash can is I see that we need to pull some weeds so I get the glove, gardening gloves but I can't find my gardening gloves so then I have to clean the garage and you know the next thing you know it's like oh yeah I was doing dishes that is not uncommon for me and I th I thought I was better at that but it's getting worse possible? Can you get worse? I'm not so bad that I can't get tasks accomplished, so it just never dawned on me that that was a thing that I might have. Because I never have felt that way, but it seems increasingly I'm more and more that way. And I'm wondering if that comes with age with your brain starting to atrophy if it comes with exhaustion I don't know what it it just, it just seems like it's more now than it ever used to be I didn't ever used to be that like that I like this without doing the the cross Having that line, I, I'm glad I didn't do that. I'm going to fill in in there. Let me do it with a bigger pen, though, so that doesn't take forever. going to take forever? Probably. Do you guys want to fast forward? Feel free. I like the idea of it having a really dark background in here. So that's what I want. What's this pattern called? Scape. I wonder if it was inspired by a landscape like a pebble and sand path. It does look like a Zen garden, doesn't it? I'm almost regretting doing that. I kind of like that better. But it's too late now. I have done it. We need 
need to finish. You can't just leave two of them or one of them like that. That would look funny. I could, however, do it in a pattern and do them here and then here and here and leave these ones. I could do that. So maybe I'll do that. Let's, let's do it in that pattern and see what it looks like and then decide. Shall we? What was I talking about? I don't remember. I had a question. I don't remember what the question was. Did I answer the question? I'm not sure. Did I? Didn't I? I have no idea. Do, 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 do. Such a beautiful day today. I've got my window open. I can hear the birds. I don't know if you can hear the birds out there, but I can hear the birds. My husband usually takes care of the bird feeders right outside my uh, studio window. And the bird feeders are empty, so they're not, like, gathered by my window. That's probably why you can't hear them. I'm assuming you can't hear them. I don't know. Maybe you can. Okay, so we're going to do this one. Then here, I use I use drawing when I'm listening. I find that I listen better if I'm drawing. I learn better if I'm drawing. I don't know what that is. When I was in school, even, um, you know, my teachers always thought I was taking all these great notes, and I'd usually just be drawing, doodling on my page. But you're allowed to do that because the teacher thinks you're taking notes. So you're allowed to have your pen out and a piece of paper. And I would take some notes, but a lot of my notes, like almost every page of my notes, would always have some sort of doodle in the corner. Unless it was notes that I had to turn in. Occasionally we'd have teachers that would say, you have to take notes and then you have to turn them in. And if that was the case, then I would not doodle on the edges. I would get another piece of paper and doodle on that instead. And then this one, right? This one. Okay, let me see. How does that look? Does that look even? Does? 
Hmm. Do I like it? Do I not like it? Do I want these to all be colored in as well? Yeah, let's color them in. Okay. I was trying to make this a shorter video, but not to be. Let's get another question because I don't remember what the last one was. I've already put it back in the pile, so I don't know what it was. If you were a circus performer, what act would you perform? Ugh. Circus. Gosh, it's been such a long time since I've been to a circus. Circuses aren't really a thing in our area anymore. So, like, I don't even think... My son is over 30 years old and I don't know that he's ever been to a circus. Because it's just not a thing. Is it? Is it still a thing where you guys live? Um, does the circus come to town? Um, it used to be a thing. And it just doesn't seem to be a thing anymore. At least not here. What act would I perform? Well, I certainly wouldn't be a clown. They're all so physical. If I was a circus performer... Gosh, I don't know. I wouldn't want to be a circus performer. Maybe... You know, all the acts in the circus seem to be so dangerous. They do. They all seem to be very dangerous. The circus is a dangerous place to work. think of anything like I wouldn't want to be on a trapeze I am terrified of heights that would never work um, I wouldn't want to be like I guess I could be a magician's assistant maybe the person who does the dog acts there's usually a dog act in there and maybe I'd be the person with the dogs seems to be the least dangerous of the of the acts tigers no elephants no funny little dogs yes yes perhaps i would be the person in charge of the funny little dogs is it a lot of work to train dogs to do those kinds of things absolutely but is it something that you could do and not kill yourself by going up high or being a magician's assistant where you could possibly get hurt or yeah Could you do the dog act without ever having to speak in public? Yes, you could. I'm not... I'm not... Uh, balanced enough, coordinated enough to be like a dancer or... Um, you know, contortionist. No. Sideshow person? I don't think so. No. Yeah. I'm, I'm sticking with the dogs. Sticking with the dogs. Could I become good enough at... at... 
shooting a gun to be a sharpshooter? Probably not. Maybe if I started early enough. That's still also a dangerous thing. I'm just trying to think of a circus act that's not dangerous. Maybe that's the whole point of circus though, right? Is that you watch these people doing dangerous things and you're in awe of them because of the danger that they're in. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with this. Shall we do a little shading? I think we should. I should go along here, huh? Yep, yep, yep. yep. Okay. And do we want to do... Dark low lights, like shadows on these, like they're rocks or pebbles of some sort. That always looks good. Let's just put a little piece of graphite on each one. And then we'll just come blend mm, come back and blend it. And then maybe get some highlights. Because you know, you can't do it without highlights on a colored piece of paper. I love my highlights. That's one of the reasons why I love to draw on colored pieces of paper. Because the white shows up. You can get highlights. Uh, do, 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 do. Where's my blending stump? Well, I don't know. We'll use this tortillon instead. This one's not so bad. Smudging, smudging the graphite. So much fun to smudge. Smudging is fun. You guys enjoy smudging as much as I do? I don't know. I don't know if anybody can have as much fun as I do with the smudging. It's one of my favorite parts. Putting in the shadows and the highlights. All right. You gotta get the highlights. that. We need a little 
highlights, don't we? Yes, yes we do. This pencil's getting dull. Doesn't take long. This one's a Prismacolor. And it does not take long at all for that tip to wear down. Because it's a soft, waxy pencil. But I find that it's the brightest white, especially on camera. So that's the one I really like to use the most. I've used others. And I have them here somewhere. But I don't see it right now. So this is the one I'm using. Awesome. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We didn't draw our name. We didn't sign. We didn't put the name of the... This one's called Scape. S-C-A-P-E. Alrighty. We're done. You guys have a great day. Go out and do something fun for some and nice for somebody today. Have fun. Enjoy the day. It's a beautiful day outside, at least here where I am. It's a beautiful day. I think I'm going to take a break. I have to uh, plug all my stuff in. My microphone needs plugging in. My camera battery needs changing out. All that kind of stuff. So I think I'm done for the day. I will see you guys on the next video. Go out and do something nice for someone today. Make the world a better place, one person at a time. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.